Hold on. Hold on, Dory. Hello. For a moment, ouch. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. So, what did you do today? Today, um, I go to, uh, I go cycle. Oh, you went for a bicycle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how was it? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. And who was with you? I go with my mom and my sister. Oh, they went, they also bike together with you? Your what? mom, your mom has a bicycle too? No, no. Oh, she just walked? Now she um, borrowed my bicycle. Oh, it's like you will play for, uh, you will ride the bike <clears throat> and then she will ride too after you. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. How about your dad? Where is your dad? My dad it, uh, was home. Oh, so but she but he didn't go with you. <clears throat> Your dad didn't go with you, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, are you going to go back at school tomorrow? Um, no. When are you coming back at school? Um, I don't know. Oh. It has coronavirus. Mm, all right. Okay. So, are you ready now to continue our class? Yeah. What is our last lesson? What was our last lesson? My things. My things, very good. So we have an activity that we haven't finished yet. So this hold on. So we have here. Yeah. Uh huh. We did not finish answering this, right? So this is number one. This is number two. And this is number three, four, five, and six. <clears throat> so, can you see the letters from A to F, right? It has a color, correct? Hello, Dewey. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so again, you see here it has a color, right? The letters, the sentence says from this column, correct? Hello, are you there? Yes. Okay, again, listen to me. 
we have here, right? We have sentences from this side, and we also have sentences from this side, correct? Now, I, yeah. want, uh -huh, I want you to listen to the audio before we answer this. 6B, my things. Uh, Listen and I look. There is... Hello? My notebook. Okay. I don't have my phone. Okay. With me. Um, wait me for a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready now? Yeah. Okay, so again, let's let's listen to the audio. Listen carefully because after that, you have to watch You have to match the sentences from letter A to letter B. Like this, for example, letter A Betty's mother decided to buy this sweater at the zoo shop last year. Did you understand? Did you understand? Oh. Yeah, I understand. It's one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look, do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf, next to that little plastic lizard. I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. And these are my new gloves. Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday with me when we went camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. 
All right. Did you get all the answers? No. I don't hear everything. Can I have more? Or listen? <laughs> okay. You didn't tell me that you don't listen to it. All right. So again, listen carefully so that you know where to match letter A, column to letter B, column. Okay? Yeah. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look. Hold on. Do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf, next to that little plastic lizard. I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. And these are my new gloves. Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday with me when we went camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. Did you get all the answers? Yeah. I have all the answer. Okay, hold on. Okay, so answer letter B. Um Letter B, B is five. B is letter five. Very good. And um, how about letter C? Letter C is one. Is one. Very good. And how about letter D? Letter D. Um, it's these three. Very good. It's letter. Uh, it's number three. How about letter E? Letter E is uh, um six. And six. Very good. And the last number, letter F. Letter F. 
two. Very good. Okay, please read the complete sentences. Let's start from letter A. Her mother, her friend Mary, true baby, always brush her hair with it. Her mother bought her this in January um, from the shop in the mountain. Her grandmother made this so wet teeth, finger and hand don't get cold. Her cousin Ben bought her this because uh, Betty loved the sea animal. Betty carried her thing in it on her camping holiday last summer. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. Okay, so here, me, make what? Hold on. So look at this. Make a question using the words here. For example, for Betty's keyboard, what color is key, what is the color of Betty's keyboard? Make a question and answer it. For example, you can see here color. So you can ask you can ask what is the color of Betty's keyboard? And you will be the one who's gonna answer. It's silver. Did you understand? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Make a question first. Make a question using these words. This is number one, two, three, four, five. So let's, number one. Number one is um was it uh, that uh, when when uh, do you get it okay hold on what is your number one number one is when do you get it ready Okay, how about number two? No. Number two is when, I uh, know, um, is that new or is old? Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three is um, who gave you this keyboard mm -hmm. and where is it now okay so answer this okay in this number one, it's only, all of these questions are correct except for number one. It should be, when did you get it? Did you understand? Yeah. When did you get it? I get it um, last Saturday. Uh -huh, very good. Is that new or old? Uh, 
Is that new or old? It's new. It's new. It's new. Okay. So, who gave you this keyboard? Who gave you this keyboard? Um, my aunt gave me. My aunt gave me the keyboard. Yes, very good. So, where is it now? Um, eat upstairs. Uh huh, it's upstairs. Okay, very good. So now let's go to Betty's violin. Please make a question using these words again. Oh, no need. Okay, no need. All right, so I will ask you a question Is it new or old? It's old. Where is it now? It uh, downstairs. And who gave you this? My grandfather gave me mm -hmm. this. And when did you get it? I ate it last birthday. Last birthday. Birthday. Okay, so what is the color of it? It's color light brown. Mm -hmm. Color brown, alright, very good. Hold on. So, how about you? Do you know how to play instrument? Um, no. I don't know how to play instrument. Oh, but you don't want to learn? Um, no. <laughs> no, okay. Alright, so let's continue. <clears throat> let's do an animal quiz. Um, okay, so... Please read number one. Number one is um. Why do African elephant have big ear? Uh -huh, so what is your answer? Is it letter A, B, or C? A. A. Uh -huh. How about number two? Please read. Number two is what is the largest animal in the world? It's the blue whale. Mm -hmm. It's a blue whale. Uh -huh. You think it's blue whale? Yeah. Oh, hmm. it's, hold on, for, how about number three? How long no. has there been? Number left? three is, how long has three? In life on our planet. Mm -hmm. Um, for four, four. Mm. Million years. Ten okay. billion years. Okay. And how about number four? Well, and dolphin are big fish. 
Yes or no? Oh. Mm -hmm. What are they are not fish? They are not no. fish. Mm -hmm. So number five, can you spell elephant? Oh no no. Can you spell this? What is this? It's a hippo. Uh -huh. So can you spell hippo? Um, hippopotamus. So, what is the spelling of H hippopotamus? H I double P O. Uh, it's hippopotamus. So, what is the spelling of hippopotamus? I don't know. How to spell that? But uh, I I uh, only know to spell hippo. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, so look at this. <clears throat> it's look at this. Hippopotamus. Oops. Can you please read this? Hippo. Hippopotamus. Yes. So look at that's the spelling of hippopotamus. All right. Did you understand? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. How about butterfly? What is the spelling of butterflies? Uh, um. B. U T B U T B U T T B U T T B U T T Okay, can B U T T E E R E R E E R F L Y Yes, very good. So number seven. Can animals live at the bottom of the sea? Can animals live at the bottom of the sea? Yeah. Can horses stand up and sleep at the same time? Yes, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm, yes. And how many legs does an insect have? Six. Six. And when did dinosaurs become extinct? Um, sixty-five million years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on a moment. So, the answer is for number one, for number one, 1B. Okay, hold on. Why do Americans, why do African elephants have big ears? Because they help them live in hot countries, not Letter A, okay? 
Number two, what is the largest animal in the world? It's the blue whale. Very good. You're correct. Number three, how long has there been life on our planet? Your answer is letter C. Very good. For number four, whales and dolphins are big fish. It's no. Very good. They are mammals. And number five, hippo, you correct. <laughs> For number six, butterfly, correct. And number seven, can animals live at the bottom of the sea? Your answer is yes. Very good. For number eight, <clears throat> can horses stand up and sleep at the same time? Your answer is yes. Very good. For number nine, how many legs does an insect have? Your answer is letter A. Very good. And for number ten, when did dinosaurs become extinct? And your answer is that you see. So, do you got the correct, you got the nine correct answers except for number one. So, very good. Good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, now let's continue. Oh, we are already done in this book. So, we are now moving forward to the next one. Hold on. Okay, so for our next topic, can you please read this? Can you please read that? Bring and speaking. So moving and speaking. Hold on. Vocabulary. Please read the vocabulary and its meaning. Bones. Move up and down in a particular direction. Shout. Say something in a loud voice. Whisper. Speak very quietly to somebody. Push. Who? Oh. Whisper. Um, teacher, in a whisper, don't have meaning. Yeah, it's always a, like like this one, like this, just whistling. For number six, um, decide. Think carefully about the different possibility uh, available, 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 and choose one of them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, we. Follow me, bounce. Repeat after me, Dui. It's bounce. Bounce. Again, bounce. Bounce. Whisper. Whisper. Whistle. Whisper. Okay, very good. So, this is, look at the picture. What is he doing? He's bones. Uh -huh, please read. He is bouncing the ball. Very good. He is bouncing the ball. Do you know how to do this? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So, do you play basketball? No, I know a little bit. <laughs> and who is your playmate? Um, I play with my friend. Oh, your friend at school? At school? At school? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh okay, alright. So, next one. The, which part of the body does he use to bounce the ball? It's the arm. Uh-huh, arm or hands. How about this one? What is he doing? He's... He's... Who's part? I think. Uh-huh. Again, please read this. He's throwing and catching the ball. Mm -hmm. So the answer is throwing and catching. Did you understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. And which part of the body does he use to throw and catch the ball? Um, it's our arms. <laughs> Again, it's the hands. <clears throat> All right. Right. Uh, can you please read the instruction? Right eye, ear, mouth, nose, or hand next to the words. For example, please read this. Bones. Hand. Mm -hmm. Shout. No, I don't mouth. Oh, mouth. Okay, how about this? Carry hands. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Big mouth. How about this? Um, push. Smell, nose, see, eyes, throat, hand, car, mouth, laugh, mouth, catch, hand, cook, hand, hear, ear, watch, eye, cool, arms, hands, cry, um, Cry. Cries. I. Whistle. Whistle. How about whistle? Hand. Whistle hand. Ha whistle is hand? Yeah. Okay. How about this? Whisper. Hand. Sing mouth hold hand look at this mouth sing okay you are all correct except for this one whistle is the one we make a sound for example like that like we are blowing so it's mouth. Did you understand? Did you understand? Yeah. Uh, again, what is whistle? Whistle is mouth. Okay, very good. So now let's continue. Where are these boys? 
is the, the boys in the um uh, um mm -hmm. Where are the boys? The boy is the boys are um watch the football. Where are they? The plays. Where are the plays? They are the stadium. And what are they doing? They are watching the football. They are, please read. Shouting. Shouting. So number two, who are they shouting at? Uh, at the player of uh, football. Their team or the other player of football. Very good. Do you shout when you go watch your team? Yeah. Oh, what are you shouting? I shout. Um, I don't know how to uh, say in English. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Which part of our body do we use when we write? Um, it's hand. Hand and... Which um... About running? It's leg. Slack and how about reading? Reading is mouth. Uh -huh. And how oh, reading use mouth? Are you sure mouth? Are you sure mouth? Again, for read, we use our mouth to read. Reading is a uh, eye. Mm -hmm. It's eyes. <clears throat> Very good. So complete the sentence with a word from the box. Can you please read the words in the box? Please read the words in the box. Whisper. Whisper. Here. 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 How about this one? Please read this. Believe. How about this one? How about this one, Dewey? Hello? 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 Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Can you please read this? This sprite. How about this one? Was. Yes. Yes. And the last one. Beside. Okay, so doing sentence already our time. We have to end it here and we are just going to continue on our next class, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much for tonight, Dewey, and see you again. Bye. Bye.